Anyway, if you don't know me, um, well, you know what? You're not gonna know who I am. You're gonna say, who the hell is this girl? But anyway, <laughs> hi, it's Benign in Halifax, and I'm talking to some of you guys who know me, but some who don't know me. Uh, my name is Melanie Mendez Munden, and I've been living here in Canada for 35 years. I'm a Canadian and I was born in the Philippines and now I'm happily living here on Queensland in Nova Scotia, Canada. So I basically moved around and I lived in Dartmouth when we first arrived from the Philippines in 1986, only for like a few months, six months I think. And then summer hit and uh, my sister and her husband bought a place in Wolfville. So we ended up living in Wolfville, in Gatsboro. And from there, a whole bunch of stuff happened in my life. I kind of wanted to feature Filipino life here in Nova Scotia, Canada. I've lived here for 35 years and lived in different places in Montreal, in Toronto, uh, Vancouver, and have driven across Canada. Um, so we've kind of know a little bit of, about Canada. So I just chose Pinay and Halifax because this is the longest I've ever stayed um, in one place. I've moved 35 times in my life and uh, I love that because I got to meet the most awesome people and hopefully you get to meet them too. So one of the ones I really want to feature is my good friend and also an artist uh, is Caitlin Koo. I want you guys to meet her because she's amazing, uh, she's real and she's authentic. Here's Caitlin Koo. I feel like there's a backstory here I need to learn about. About what? <laughs> Which? <laughs> I'm Caitlin. I have my brand Caden Ivy, and I'm an artist of all kinds. <laughs> 
So Caitlin, what are we doing today? Today we are going to be doing the photo shoot for the banner for Fabric of Our DNA, which is the showcase that we have in Soli Productions uh, virtual fashion show, which is going to be online in August. Um, it's going to be featuring local talent and models and we get to see the best of what everybody has to bring to the table. Us designers are in a little bit of a competition. We're trying to raise money so the goal is $2,500 and that goes towards a branded scholarship that we will be donating on our brand's behalf so that a student's tuition can be paid for the fall and somebody in a, our marginalized communities that just need a little bit of a leg up to be the leaders that we know that they can be. Just community support. <laughs> so there's no losers and all winners. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're rooting for you because you're benign in Halifax. Yay! <laughs> Son of a ball! <laughs> so who do we have here right now? Hi, I'm Kilana, and I'm modeling for Caden Ivy brand. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't she freaking adorable? You just want to eat her up. <laughs> so, um, did you choose this label, or how did it work? Um, my manager, Soli ask me if she if I wanted to model for Caitlin and of course I said yes because I've known her since I started modeling and are you also Pinai in Halifax yes I am Pinai in Halifax <laughs> <laughs> don't be proud of it all <laughs> there yes, mother <laughs> is there anything else you want to say no, you're, you're so shy. Oh my god. Oh, I like my look today. It's really cool. I've never had my hair done. That hasn't been like a giant bubble. So it's really cool to have like braids or something different for one. <laughs> <laughs> and who did your makeup? Caitlin Kudu did my makeup and hair. There. Caitlin, can we purchase these necklaces or yes. is it just for show or? Yes, purchase available or custom. Really? So how much would that first necklace you put in would be? Is it cat eyes or target or target tiger eyes? Um, they're supposed to look like octopus or kraken. Oh, so what's the story behind that necklace? Um, Wait, the, the, the both of them or is individually? Individually. This one is more like a, is supposed to be like a, a monster, like sea monster kind of thing. Okay. So you've got your kraken who has a, like a narwhal and you've got like the bigger one and it's kind of like seaweedy. Okay. And then we have the I can't breathe necklace over top and then... <laughs> Oh yes, I mm. do remember that. And then <laughs> she's gonna be in a wedding dress, and then has a capey thing. Okay. There's, a, there's lots. Of and so, is the wedding dress representing something? Oh my goodness, there's so much going on on that wedding dress. <laughs> oh, okay, so you'll have to explain later probably, when it's on. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. probably for the best because I can list everything off, and then there's I'll a spine, yeah. there's a rip, there's some blood, right. there's some jewels, there's some color just after my friend got divorced okay and that was kind of a divorce dress oh nice. i get it wedding dress divorce heartache pain i love it but straight than that because she's got the krakens she's got the yes. claws so she's rocking she's okay oh well, she's fine yeah it's cast she's fine <laughs> Cass can be dangerous, Cass can be hurt, Cass can be happy, Cass can be shy, Cass can do anything. <laughs> so I guess your name is Cass. We're filming. Oh, hi. <laughs> uh, yes, my name is Cassidy. 
I'm solar production model. I'm modeling for Caitlin tonight. Okay. This is two necklaces I'll wear and the glove. I, it's a big dress, which so I'm not in it yet. Um, but now we, we're, you're here and I see the purple background. It just kind of reminds me of like what you represent. So can you talk a little bit about that? Uh, yeah, I'm the, the founder of Purple Day. Uh, it's Apple Pussy Awareness Day. Celebrate every year, every year March 26th worldwide. Um, yeah. She this is, is the face. Love it. I love it. And what's the hand? Tell me. Like, how do you come up with these creations? That's Kaylin. Like, that's like a fairy claw. Because you think of like fairies being so like delicate and pretty and beautiful. And I love fairies, but like they can be stronger. Just because they're allergic to iron doesn't mean they can't like have other things that make them dangerous. Ah, I see. I see how you're thinking now, girl. And it's shiny. <laughs> and it's shiny. <laughs> and it sparkles. And also, I can't wear fake nails for the life of me. Mm. I love the way they look, but I need my hands too much. And then I can just like slip on some fairy claws and feel ah. all fancy. And can like have that feeling. I <laughs> and then I can it. take it off and I can have like dirty scrubby hands. <laughs> for Explain this, man, because this is epic. Thanks. <laughs> um, my dragon shoes. Uh, I, I I saw on the internet some people were making um, dinosaur shoes with like the plastic dinosaurs as heels, and I thought that dragon shoes would be a lot more fun. Plus, when I started doing Caden Ivy, uh, everything was unicorns because the symbology of the unicorn is the purity, the beauty, and the healing. And I've come to a different place in my life where I am more strength and more, more protection, more a dragon. So we're just busting out some dragons. I love it. And they're sparkly. Yes, and they're beautiful. And the, the dragons come with their own castle at the back. Oh, okay, let's raise that up a bit. I see it. They've got the swords too. They've got their swords. They've got their ivory towers. So do you make this from scratch or how does it all work? Um, a lot of people started to donate shoes to me or like have old shoes that they don't want anymore and they're, they still have life and they're just like, do something with them. And I'm like, crafts. Um, cause I, it originally started with Vader chewed up a pair of my favorite shoes and I still wanted to wear them. So <laughs> I had to make them presentable. <laughs> smart. Very smart. Um, and then they kind of, they got super elaborate when I started adding them to shoots and matching them to the outfits. And then they got super, super elaborate to being their own outfit and Lots of upcycling, lots of glitter, lots of you name it on it, it it'll go on it. I'll figure out a way to put it on a shoe. <laughs> it'll be fine. Okay, Lana's wearing a pair oh. of dragon shoes. Oh, wow. So, like, the whole thing, like, as I ask you these questions, it's kind of like women empowerment. Like, I, that's what I'm getting. It might just be a byproduct <laughs> of the environment that these designs just happen to be in they happen to be powerful but that's the magic of it it's to create something beautiful when things aren't always beautiful broken down shoe kind of got ugly fix it use it for something different that all happens Sully was wearing bed sheets yesterday Malik was wearing curtains Cass is wearing an old wedding dress and what? Uh, yeah, there's lots of curtains over there. <laughs> <laughs> lots of curtains or trimmings and odd trimmings and trappings and lots, lots of lots, layers on layers of art. So how do you just, I mean, you probably have Okay, your background. Let's talk about your background first. Like, you are a makeup artist. I know that, mm -hmm. but like the viewers don't know that. Oh, I went to school in Ontario for special effects makeup. 
So I worked in film, television, did some special effects shops, worked with a fashion designer in Toronto, and then when I moved out here, I started doing more of my own thing and building my own brand. So it's more of a Nova Scotia thing than it was a Toronto thing. So what brought you to Nova Scotia? Short story or long story? <laughs> Whatever you want. <laughs> no, 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 short story or long story. <laughs> I know it's a guy, isn't it? Is it a guy? Isn't it always? Yeah, it is. It's terrible. It's so terrible, but it is, yes. Yeah. So he broke your heart. back then now it's healed that's part of the long story wow. there's lots of, there's 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 legal and abuse and PTSD and escape and then non so much escape and it's wow. a saga that's also insane. also during that I was here on a business trip with my boss and I didn't really have anywhere to live I was cra I was couch surfing at the time and I looked around and I was like okay you can leave me here and she goes uh okay yeah whatever I'm like no no, no I, I think I uh, that's your mom I'm sorry guys. it's okay it's okay how do I know because Bella Belfast <laughs> City just comes on and there's nobody else I know who has Bella Belfast City as their ringtone Oh my god. <laughs> and I said, leave me here. And she said, no. And I said, no, no, no. Like, I, I, I can, it'll be fine. And she said, no, you actually have to come back home with me. Like, your mom is going to be pissed if I just leave you mid-business trip. So we got home and I gave her my two weeks and packed my, I packed two suitcases and found a place on Craigslist, hopped on a plane found the key under the mat to a stranger's place, and here I am. <laughs> that is amazing. You have so much. I'm, I really want to cry. <sighs> I'm such a cry baby. That's amazing. You have so much strength. It's unbelievable. You're seriously, you are such an inspiration. I look at your stuff all the time, and I think, man, this girl, has something going on here like she's have you hurt. have you checked out your own instagram <laughs> oh yes just 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 yes. putting that out there <laughs> i put a lot of stuff out there yeah 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 you do yeah some some hurtful stuff but <laughs> i'm trying to be like having a voice now like we're i think i was silenced for so long and just you know, I think because my kids, I think they need to see and hear and have a voice and now it's okay. So how do you feel about like this new movement about everything in social media and social justice? I mean, how are you? I mean, obviously it's amazing, but. It's, uh, it's amazing, it's also terrifying. Um, there's so many. How do you know it's, if it's that, I mean, everybody has a story and everybody has their truths, but some people will just make up stuff too. Yes, they will. But it's also, the internet can be so insular. So you, you can have communities who are sharing their stories, but it's only gonna be within that community. And yes, it's great and healing to be within that community and understand, but algorithms force you to be in within the same likenesses. So you're not really exposed to other opinions and that's how people can get radicalized and that's how people can streamline their hate and then direct it at other people. So, um, especially this year, it's been, it's been a journey. <laughs> so are you getting some cyberbullying? Are you getting like that? No, I'm no. getting straight racist hate. Wow. <laughs> it's, it's not it's not bullying it's fetishization it's blatant racism it's racial slurs it's go kill yourself so it's not bullying 
that's that this is we're talking about this community like nova scotia yes <laughs> yes <laughs> So how do you want to end this conversation? Like what, you know, what you're doing, your creative force, like how, I mean, this is your way of healing, but this is your way of speaking out loud. And I mean, obviously you need to ignore, I mean, it's obviously painful, but you need to ignore it and just keep going because there's so many young kids that look up to you and you know if i had somebody to look up to when i was a kid things would have been so different for me as an adult and being able to be that for somebody else's kid or somebody else you can't put words or a price or even a value to that it's just something you need to do because the hurt has to stop somewhere. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Same reason you have a voice. Same reason we're all getting voices. Now I'm gonna cry again. <laughs> Thank you so much for your time. I know Thank we have you. to get going right now. So I love you. I love, love everything you. about you. And keep on, keep on going, girl. Mahalkita. Mahalkita. <laughs>